Hi and welcome to this edition of Out of the Box. My name is Paul. Today we're going to be having a look at what is in this brown box. This is the Sophos uh, secondary power supply um, for the XGS series. Now let me show you what you get on the box, which isn't a lot. Um, and then maybe I'll actually show you how it fits to a unit as well, because that stumped me the first time I did it. So here's the power pack itself. You are going to get a small packet there of uh, screws to help you fit that together finally. Um, you are going to get a couple of meters of power cable. It's an IEC, just like the primary one, because we're here in Australia, and we've got an Australia power uh, connector at that end. And you are going to get the cable to join this to the current uh, power pack that's in the unit as well. Now look, originally, or most of the times that I've dealt with a secondary power supplies for firewalls or appliances, they generally slot inside. Due to the nature of it, and I've got an XGS 2300 here, um, all ready to go, there isn't actually any capacity space inside here to slot the unit in. So I was a little bit confused about how this all fitted together. So let me just show you the unit itself. All right, so here um, is our um, power in. All right, we've got side venting um, here. Over on this side, this is where our power cable connects in. Um, and over this side, um, we've got a little corridor here for the uh, air to travel down um, to allow us to get that through back to front cooling. Beyond that, I would try to work out how was this even going to slot in. But let me actually show you how this goes together. So this is a, an XGS 2300. And over here, you'll actually see um, four uh, mounting um, pins. Why don't we just hold that up? Hopefully the camera will focus and you can just um, see them. You will also see a very small here um, screw point. So what we're actually going to do, and try and do this um, with the camera, is we're actually going to take this um, unit. Here's our power pack. We're actually going to um, use those four um, screws that we had before. Uh, put, whoop, put it into place. Hang on a minute. The wrong way around there. Try it again clip it back into place, all right? And that is now actually, um, although I haven't screwed it in place, is uh, put on there. And we're obviously gonna use then our um, tightening screw to hold that in place. Our small pack of screws is gonna help us um, probably mount it onto any extra um, side um, protection that we have. All right, <laughs> it looks a bit cumbersome, doesn't it? And then we're gonna basically take the panel off on the back of our um, XGS and we're going to be able to cable um, the two together like that. So slightly interesting in the way that it is fitted together. It does make the unit fairly deep. It probably almost adds, um, well, it adds probably 75% depth to it. It's still going to probably fit in a 600 mil deep um, rack or more. Um, so you shouldn't have a problem uh, there. But obviously just be aware it doesn't actually slot into the unit itself. Um, it is completely separate, but hopefully that's been useful. That's a very quick look at um, the secondary power supply for the Sophos XGS units. Do head on over to our YouTube channel. We've got loads more box openings on wireless networking and firewalls. We've got performance guides and how-to guides, how to secure your network using a Sophos. Um, performance guides on um, seeing how it, uh, a Sophos XGS 136 actually runs on our one gig internet connection here with all the services turned on. So do subscribe and stay up to date. But hopefully that's been useful. That's the power pack for the XGS uh, series.